With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, here question is if two chords of this circle drawn from point A comma B is divided by the x axis in ratio this, then which of the following option is correct? Ok students, so let's find this. So suppose this is our circle, ok, and there is one point P A comma B. Okay, and from here we draw two chords. From here we draw two chords, and this chord is divided by x axis in ratio 2 ratio 1. Okay, then which of the following option is correct? Which of the following relation between A and B is correct? Okay, so for this information, 2 ratio 1, 2 point is possible, A and B. So, whatever calculation will give for 2 ratio 1 on this circle, there should be 2 existence of point. Okay. Okay. So, what I am going to do, see, I am going to take, let us consider this point is A is P comma Q, other end is P comma Q. Okay. So, x axis the ratio the point which will divide this into ratio 1 this will be I am going to consider m so m we can find it out ok by section formula so this is 2 this is 1 and this is our pq so we can write 2 into p plus 1 into B, 1 into A upon 3 and for Y coordinate 2 into Q, 2 into Q plus 1 into B upon 3 and this point M lies on X axis so its Y coordinate will be 0. So from here we will get Q value minus B upon 2. Ok, no problem students. So now for A point we found Q, now we need to find P. So what I am going to do, I am going to put P comma Q in this equation of circle because this point lies on circle. So this will satisfy. So this will become P A square ok plus I will put minus b upon 2 at place of y. So, this will become b a square upon 4. Okay. And here I will write minus a p. Here minus b upon 2. So, this will become plus b a square upon 2 is equals to 0. See. Now, if you see this, this is quadratic in p. Okay, students. Now from here what we can do a 3 b a square upon 4 is equals to 0. No problem eh, students. Now see there are two points according to question for possibility of this condition. So there will be two solution. There will be two solution. Two solution. So there should be two values of p. And for two solution, D should be greater than 0. For two solution, D should be greater than 0. So, B a square, that is minus A square, A square, minus 4 A is 1 and C is this whole part. So, 4 times 3 B a square upon 4, this is greater than 0. 4 will get cancelled out and we get A a square greater than 3 B a square. And this is our answer. So our first option is correct. Thank you, my students. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.